I think a lot of people don't take the Titans as serious. Intercepted at the five. Sack! He's got a lot of more! Jeffrey Simmons! Don't let nobody in the world tell the story. An intercepted fire. I'm gonna fight, but I took the name. We write our story. I'm in control, yeah, I'm in my face. Everybody count us out! It's us out, don't know how to fade. It's about us! It ain't a group in the world that I wouldn't rather go to war with tonight, right now. They're a top team in the NFC. And I feel like going forward, they'll make some, some big moves. I really do. That's how you do that. On the road, getting down it, tighten up. They give it to Peterson, running to the left. All day! Yes! Yes! We ain't trying to prove nobody wrong. We're trying to prove ourselves right every single week. Nissan Stadium. I am Lance Smith and I am joined by a whole bunch of people that I love. We have got the Air Force and the Army in the house right here. Look at this crowd right here as we celebrate Veterans Day. It is our Salute to Service game coming up this Sunday and joining me here to my right in this chair, CJ 2K is in the house. My man, good to see you. So, what's up? We are safe tonight, CJ. Yeah. We've got the service in the house. Uh, thank you guys for being here. This is an awesome uh, show, an awesome game that we're prepping for, but we got to talk about the game that was. Uh, first of all, when you watched the game, were you expecting that? What just happened in Los Angeles? Yeah, that was crazy, man. For our <laughs> defense to step up the way they did, the two interceptions, the score so quick. You know what I'm saying? The, the turnovers and stuff, it was crazy. All right, let's get into it. Let's get, let's get in the show and uh, do what we do here on Titans Blitz. Let's do some uh, hot takes with CJ since we got the men here. And let's talk about it. This defense. Uh, <laughs> it's so funny because it's like how long has it been since we've had this kind of uh, front line? And, you know, we were talking off camera. It's like I, it goes back to, I think, the Vandenbosch days since we yeah. looked this vicious up front. Yeah, the Vandenbosch days, the Keith Bullock, all yeah. those guys from my – that was my rookie year last time I seen us have a defense like that create so many turnovers and get to the quarterback like that. Sacks galore. We had five total. Uh, and we're not, uh, we're not blitzing. This is just no. the front four wreaking havoc. Uh, Jeffrey Simmons with three, the big man, Big Jeff. Yeah. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it's just, it's interesting just as a Titans fan because it's like, you, we just haven't had this in, in, in so long. And then all of a sudden you just now can't wait to see the defense get back on the field to do some damage to what many consider to be one of the top offenses uh, in the NFL. So uh, talk to me through this from your perspective. Like, what was the key to that? Just individual uh, overpowering? Yeah, when you got a, a defensive line that can play like that and you don't have to blitz, you just sit back and let those guys go get the quarterback. You got the rest of the guys that can just sit back and and get the interceptions. When you don't have to blitz the cornerbacks, the linebackers, yeah. we can drop back in coverage and let those guys up front do their job. Which is why uh, we now have the greatest safety in the NFL. We always knew it. Uh, Kevin Byard is uh, doing magical things. Because we do have that pressure up front. It's, it's, we talked about it last year, last season. We didn't have that pass rush. Yeah. And so Kevin was asked to cover a lot and do a lot. And what has been able to do what he's doing this year? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and he's talking about just proving ourselves right. He seems to be having a ball out there. Is he, does he have that much freedom now? Because yeah. yeah, he has that much freedom. He don't have to worry about the, um, going out there, stopping the run, or blitzing. Yeah. Like we say, he just sit back and, and watch the quarterback and make it the plays that he's been making on the ball. He seems to be uh, communicating so well with everybody else back there, being mm -hmm. the leader back there in the team mm -hmm. feds. I mean, uh, how difficult is it to communicate things like that on the fly? I mean, talking football mm -hmm. with you off camera, mm -hmm. you throw out – you know, yeah. verbiage that I'm just trying to keep up with. Yeah. How difficult of a job is that? Um, it's difficult, but just like I feel like he's the quarterback of the defense. Okay. Like, you know, you got your quarterback on the offense. They do everything, put everybody in the place they have to be in. And I feel like he's the quarterback on the defense. Mm -hmm. So he put everybody in the position that they need to be in, uh, you know, to make the plays that we're making. Uh, you know, speaking of that, the defense doing things, uh, you know, stepping up, uh, even David Long with his interception. But again, from uh, Jeffrey Simmons <laughs> coming around and slinging uh, Stafford around, making him look like Carson Wentz. Uh, we like this play. If we could just run this every week, that'd be nice. 
Uh, getting it done uh, up front, it, it, it's, it's really kind of remarkable yeah. to see. Well, moving on, let's, we love the defense. I can't wait to see what they're going to do for the rest of the season. It's comforting to know that we've got yeah. that. Uh, but we had the, uh, the running back by committee, now that we don't have Derrick Henry for seemingly the rest of the regular season. Uh, the old man, 36-year-old Adrian Peterson, yeah. uh, getting the rock along with Foreman and McNichols. You were a marquee running back. Uh, how difficult is it to share the load? Um, it's definitely difficult, especially when you're used to being a guy that get all the carries and you can get get the momentum and things like that. But, you know, sometimes, like, th this day and age, the NFL is going to running back by committee offense yeah. anyways. So it's a good thing and it's a bad thing. Well, no, but, it's a, but talk to me, though. I mean, like, I, I remember you with Lindale. Uh, talk to me how, how that worked. And are there advantages to it? Are you communicating? It's definitely advantage because when he go in for a series or whatever, he can he can tell me what he sees out there. Yeah. Rather like, and then when I'm on the sideline, I can tell him what I see from the sideline. So mm -hmm. when I go in a game, you know, I'm taking his advice, what he's seeing from being in there. You know what I'm saying? Then from what I see from the sideline. So once I'm in the game, you know, I I, I can see it much more closer or whatever. Yeah. And then you know you get you get your break. You know what I'm saying? You're not as tired. Yeah. And then when you got a bigger guy, like Lindell, in, in my case, mm -hmm. got a bigger guy, he go in there, he run hard and, you know, beat him up. Mm -hmm. And I come in, I'm a speed guy, and I just run around him. Smash and dash, yeah, a little you know, tenderizing. Yeah. No, I get that. Uh, is that. Is that hard for defenses, though, if they've been going up against a guy like that and all of a sudden here comes? They know you're fast. Yeah. But they've been facing Lindell, 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 and then... You take off. I mean, is it? Yeah, it's hard because you got a you got a game plan for two guys now, not just one guy. Mm -hmm. Like you got a game plan for the the power back coming up. Then you got a game plan for the speed back. So it's definitely make it more difficult on the defense. Yeah. Well, you know, let's hope it's difficult for all defenses we face <laughs> moving forward. Speaking of which, uh, just looking at the list here, uh, the the moving forward. First of all, going into this game, this this game we just had, we had. Uh, the hardest schedule in the NFL, especially look at what we've just faced. Or, you know, we've played nothing but playoff teams over the last four games uh, from last season, handling our business. But now moving ahead, we have the easiest schedule in the NFL. We start mm -hmm. to play the Texans twice, uh, the Jaguars once, Dolphins. We do have a couple of uh, tough games, but the t records combined 23 and 36. So we got a path. Mm -hmm. We're locking up this division. Uh, is it, it's, how important, though, is it for the, the coaching staff to stress one game at a time? I mean, do players sort of feel like we yeah, got this? Yeah, it's definitely important because, you know, you look at it, you say we got the Texans twice, we got Jacksonville, but those divisional games. So anytime you play those games, yeah. those gonna, they can beat you any Sunday. They can go either way when it's a div divisional game. So Yeah, I know. I mean, and, hey, we lost to the Jets, so you got to play. You got to play. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, uh, this game was certainly fun. I know I loved watching us uh, take out the Rams in Los Angeles. Very well done. Uh, right now, we got to take a break. We got more Titans Blitz on the other side. As we go to break, here are some Nissan memorable moments. Stick around. was going to take him to the ground. Stafford winged it right into the arms of Long, who nearly got into the end zone. Throw in the end zone, sway ball alone. Touchdown, Titans. Fires right side, intercepted, fired. Kevin Byer, the AFC Defensive Player of the Month for October, starts November with a bang. CJ 2K coming to you live from Nissan Stadium. Troops in the house as we celebrate Veterans Day. Tomorrow, of course, it is our uh, salute to service game uh, this Sunday here at Nissan Stadium as we take on the Saints. We're going to pause the action from the X's and O's a minute. And, uh, it's one of my favorite segments that we, we do here uh, on the program. Are you an artist at all? Can you draw? Not really. Not really? Not all right. Really, well, not really. Maybe we'll get you to do one of these segments. We, uh, yeah. we, we ask our, our young talent uh, to draw their favorite Titans players to see if uh, our Titans could figure out who it is. And here is uh, this week's vague Van Gogh. Check this out. I mean, we got the one, we got the one earring. Oh, man. Hold on. Oh, man. This one. 
struggling. All right, I see what appears to be dreadlocks and a headband. This one might stump me here. All right, you got the you got the dreads or a wig or whatever you want to call them. Oh, you kicking me out early? Nice. <laughs> Coach is here. I'm out of here. Appreciate it, Coach. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and sit up with Julio Jones. Hey guys, how are you? This is a really cool painting here. I love the uh, powder blue. Great smile. Headband. I struggling with that. What the brand is. Love the earring. Iced out. AJ Brown. Julio has very similar hair to this. Just by the hair alone, I gotta go with Julio. We got the hair for sure, which, which for me is a giveaway. I probably says Julio Jones. Headband, hoop earrings, smiling. Got the wigs going on. Um, gotta be me. And number two, Julio Jones. <laughs> Yes, sir. Julio Jones. There we go. There is Julio Jones and there is Harper in the house. Nice job, Harper. Way to go. Got Julio to sign it and everything. I better not see that on eBay, but great job. Great job. Listen, we've got some colors and some next rounds on you, man. You right. gotta, you gotta, I'll, I'll try it out. I'll try it out. <laughs> yeah, I would love that. And, and <laughs> CJ2K drew it. Uh, but you wouldn't be as good as Harper. Good no. job. Nice. All right. Uh, we got to play a little game on the other side. Plus, we got to talk about this uh, Saints game coming up. Still rolling. Still another big game this Sunday. Stick around. More Titans Blitz on the other side. Trivia Gauntlet coming up. We'll be right back. To the Titans Blitz coming to you live from Nissan Stadium. I'm Lance Smith. We have veterans and troops in the house as we celebrate Veterans Day. A couple troops right here getting ready for our work. Let's go ahead and roll it. Titans trivia gauntlet. Are you intimidated yet? That's I, this is ridiculous. I'm talking to soldiers if they're scared of the scary music. Uh, listen, this Titans Trivia Gauntlet is brought to you by our friends at Martin's Barbecue. This is very cool right here. Also fed our soldiers tonight. How was the food, guys? Great. That's cool. Very nice. Uh, Martin's Barbecue joint's been serving West Tennessee's uh, style, West Tennessee bus style barbecue for the good people of Nashville for 15 years. Visit Martin's in the north end zone right here at Nissan Stadium or stop by one of their locations around the city in Nolansville, Mount Juliet, Spring Hill, and Belmont. And you can order online at martinsbbqjoint.com. As always, tighten up. Are right, you guys ready? We got you some Martin's barbecue stuff there, and you're playing for a really nice Martin's barbecue gift card at the end of this. Sweet. Uh, Tim, to my right here, where sure. are you from? Uh, Rhode Island, originally. Rhode Island, but you told me you are a lifelong Titans fan. That's right. We are going to find out. Okay. And, uh, and Wendell, you're a, you, you said Should you're have a said uniform. anything. Yep, born and raised in Nashville. Look at that. All right. All right. Titans fan for life. Titans yeah. fan for life. I'm going to put you to it, Tim and Wendell. Uh, and, uh, Tim, I believe uh, you you won the uh, rock, paper, scissor. That's right. To go yep. first. I, yeah. No one cheated? Uh, yeah, I cheated. So. <laughs> He's honest. I love that. All right, here we go. But Tim won it. He's got the first question. First question is to you, here we go, look to the big screen. What results from a quarterback being sacked in his own end zone? Is that a touchdown, a touchback, a safety, or a penalty, Tim? Lance, that is a safety. Safety, he even knows what to do. I don't know who originated that, but there we go. One point, not two points, ironically. Okay. Uh, to you, Wendell, your question is, how many yards is a false start penalty? Is that two yards, 10 yards, five yards, or 15 yards? That's false a five-yard penalty. False start, five-yard penalty. That is correct. <laughs> Next question, Tim. Who is the only first-round draft pick in Titans history from the University of Tennessee? First-round draft pick, University of Tennessee. Justin Hunter, Ryan Tannehill, Kevin Dyson, or Albert Hainsworth? That would be Justin Hunter, Lance. Justin Hunter, not first rounder. We were looking for Albert Hainsworth. That's right, that's Albert right. Albert Hainsworth, all right, to you. It's all tied up. Guys, take a look right here, Wendell. Let's do Who it. gets to call 
Heads or tails for the coin toss at the start of every NFL game? Is that the home team captain, the referee, the visiting team captain, or the visiting head coach? Away team captain. Away team captain. You have taken the lead with that one. Tim, oh. to you. To tie it up, before the AFC South division was formed in 2002, what was the name of the division in which the Titans played? The AFC Atlantic, NFC South, the UFC or the AFC Central? Lance, that was the AFC Central. That was the old AFC Central. We're all tied up. I heard a buzz, but I'm going to overrule that. There we go. We like the thing. Uh, Wendell, to you. What jersey number did Mike Vrabel wear during his playing career with the Patriots? Tough question here. 18, 50, 67, or 95? What did Vrabel wear with the Patriots? I'm going to say 50. You're going to say 50. I'm going to say you're correct. Three to you. Question to you, Tim. Which of the following Titans was a six-round NFL draft choice? Six-round NFL draft choice of the Titans. David Long Jr., Amani Hooker, Nate Davis, or Roger Saffold III? Sixth round, David Long Jr. David Long Jr., the score is all tied up. Ooh. Final question, you Ooh. each get to answer. So, Tim, we'll stay with you here. Okay. Uh, which family film was number one at the domestic Jesus. box office the week of the Music City Miracle? This one's hard, Tim. <laughs> the Muppets, Stuart Little, The Incredibles, or Space Jam? Music City Miracle, number one at the box office. The... Stuart Little. Going with Stuart Little. Wendell, what say you? Same answer? Or... I'm going to go with Space Jam. Going to go with Space Jam. Did you love Space Jam? I did. Did you love Stuart Little? Immensely. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Yeah. It's actually Stuart uh, Little! Oh! Yeah. Tim, with the big win! We, of course, got you some great Martin's barbecue stuff, and here is a $100 gift card to you, Ooh, sir. Nice. Eat well. Nice. Maybe treat your friends right here. Congratulations, Venus, for the Titans Trivia Gauntlet. We have more Titans Blitz on the other side. Stick around. We'll be right back. Nice. <laughs> you got to treat your friends, though. Titans Blitz coming to you live from Nissan Stadium. Lance and CJ back with you. Uh, we got a big game coming up here at Nissan. We're finally back home. We've been on the road for a couple weeks. Finally back home in here at Nissan Stadium this Sunday to take on the Saints. Something very cool, though, to remember as you're, uh, you're coming to the stadium. On behalf of LG, this is fantastic. Uh, everybody come to the game. We've partnered with LG. We want you to bring your gently used clothing. Go through your closet, pick the things mm -hmm. out you don't want to wear anymore. Bring them to the game, okay? LG will, mm -hmm. will wash and donate them to local charities here in Nashville and if you do that you get a $10 a voucher to mm. concessions you get a, a, a cool t-shirt so if you bring a t-shirt you get another one if you're into just not losing things we'll, <laughs> we'll replace it uh, but uh, we're gonna take care of some local charities on behalf of a, or with the help of LG it's very cool um, so uh, let's just show the rest of the NFL why we have the best fans uh, in the league all right game Sunday Saints keys to this thing yeah. my friend cj you you know this game better than yeah. anybody uh what what do the titans need to do i mean i i say air attack because yeah. I, we can't rely on not to say yeah. these guys can't run the ball but that's yeah. not our game right now yeah it's not our game right now but we're gonna have to find some type of way to get a running game going um and like i've been saying we're gonna have to find a way for our receivers to step up mm -hmm. even more because we're gonna have to change into a passing offense being that we lost our number one threat yeah, oh. exactly. Uh, Julio Jones uh, been sort of nursing, you know, a slight injury from earlier in the year, mm. off season. He's been still playing though, getting mm. through it. I mean, it, at what point is it? Is it playoffs? But at what point do you kind of have to say, okay, well, I've just got to, I got to put it all out there. I mean, as, as yeah, the at, at, at some point. But you, them, them hamstring. I think it's the hamstring. Those injuries are tricky. You know, they can go out at any time. And, um, you never really can be yourself with that type of injury. So I feel like he's not sat out enough, and I think it's coming around. And I think, like, right now it's, it's do it that time. So he's going to have to do it, like, real soon. Yeah, yeah. No, well, and I'm sure uh, A.J. Brown is uh, is looking to get back in action. He's had some monster games going into this one. Had a couple drops this game, but mm. he'll shake it off. We have faith. Yeah, yeah, he's been yeah. all right. He'll, he'll be, be good right. this season. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of the, the Derrick Henry wide receivers out there. <laughs> uh, I, I, thank you so much for being here. Good to see you again, mm, sir. You. I want to thank this crowd especially. Yeah. Hey, thank a veteran tomorrow. Without you guys, we wouldn't be playing this game or doing anything or having any kind of fun. So hats off.
Thank you. Thank you all for being here. Thanks for watching the show. As always, tighten up and let's get another W. What do you say?